Very familiar with the term bait and switch is where we're told where you're told one price and then all of a sudden it's huge, uh, it's incredibly high. So I think it's important that we have this discussion. New legislation at the state house could determine the fate of more than 100,000 Idahoans and their health care. House Bill 123 aims to repeal Medicaid expansion that would remove low income workers from coverage. Medicaid would still cover people with disabilities and News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline talked with the bill sponsor today. Andrew, they're very concerned about the cost of this program. And that's mostly because it's higher than initially anticipated when we talked with Representative Vander Wouda. He wanted to start that conversation about the efficiency of Medicaid expansion and potentially explore alternatives if a better option is out there. A decision that impacts more than 100,000 Idahoans isn't one Representative John Vanderwoude what can we do takes lightly. Because I don't want to leave people out in the cold with nothing, but at the same token, I, I'm uncomfortable leaving it in this vein with th that much spending. Specifically, the spending behind Idaho's Medicaid expansion program. Is there a better way to do it? The current way costs more than $1 billion a year. That's two and a half times what Idaho originally anticipated. I think that's why we need to look at it. Expansion coverage accounts for nearly one-fourth of the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare's entire Medicaid budget. Today in committee, Representative Vanderwoude introduced House Bill 123 to repeal the expansion, bringing the program back to its original intent. People with disabilities will still always be covered. It's legislation that would undo years of work coordinated by citizen political group Reclaim Idaho. It's hard to imagine what it would look like to go back to the time before Medicaid expansion. Reclaim Idaho Director Luke Mayville got Medicaid expansion on the 2018 November ballot. More than 60% of Idaho voters supported expansion. What this amounts to is politicians really claiming that they know better than the voters. Mayville says the original expansion cost projections were based off covering an estimated 62,000 people. Numbers from health and welfare show the expansion actually covers more than 100,000 people. If the voters of Idaho had known that even more people needed health care, the program would have been even more popular. But a 60% increase to demand still led to a 150% increase to cost. An average of about $400 per individual per month. Now it's $800. It's not an easy decision. Is this the best fiscal way to do it? But it's one Idaho lawmakers will have to make. And it starts at the House Health and Welfare Committee. I, I wouldn't say that's an absolute at this point, because I have several Republican friends that uh, wouldn't support repealing it either. 90% of Medicaid expansion costs is covered by the federal government. It's a subsidy, and Health and Welfare concluded last month that that federal subsidy actually saves the state's general fund $10 million a year. So it would actually cost Idaho money to repeal Medicaid. Representative Vander Wouda says those federal dollars are still taxpayer dollars, though, so it might help Idaho's general fund, Shira, but he says it's still inefficient spending elsewhere. Vander Wouda even suggested offering $400 monthly subsidy for people who lose coverage that they could then potentially use elsewhere in that exchange. So many different options, and we're going to see what comes out of this committee with this bill. All right, so we'll just wait and see what happens. Andrew Bartline, thank you.